So people always ask us basically, what do you look for in a property when you're doing HMO conversions? Well, it's all about layout. Basically, you can take out every internal wall if you want to and reconfigure the whole building. It's about looking for what you can get in there, reasonable size, on switch preferably personally for myself in this area. Most of our tenants come back to our letting agency and advise they want an ensuite. So that's the feedback we are getting from tenants. But when you're doing a conversion, let me show you around. So when you're doing a conversion, what you want to look for is floor space. Can you fit an ensuite in and where? When you're doing the ensuite, check your services. So your main soil stack, some people do sani flows, I think they're a nightmare. Check which way your joists run. So as you can see here, on this property, the soil stack is out the back garden. The main problem is getting the soil stack from the front of the building. Check your soil stacks, which you can see is there, and the way your joists run. Normally, you're looking for the joists to run this way. It's a lot easier to get rid of your soil stack if the joists are running the same way as you want to go. Not a problem. We've literally, this bathroom here, toilet, that tees through to the front bedroom, that goes through the ceiling. What I'll do, I'll show you exactly where that goes now. So we're currently downstairs, now at the front of the building, you'll see the soil stack comes through the ceiling, it veers off the left, there's a couple of reasons why. Veers off the left there, goes down as close as it can to the wall, under into the basement, straight out the back of the house. Don't forget you need a one in 44. Straight out the back, joins right back onto the original soil stack. That is one question that we get asked hundreds of times. How do I get the main soil stack from the front of the building out the back? Alternatively, if you haven't got a basement, and this was a concrete floor, you can get a steel saw, you can, you can cut out a channel in the floor that will pass building regs, as long as done correctly, as long as you've got the correct fall, you, let me show you, as long as you overfill the holding and pea shingle, backfill and slab or concrete, whatever's necessary for your current floor condition. So I hope that helps on what to look out for and drainage inconsiderably.